Hi everybody. Here we are. First video back down here in Miami today. Doing something pretty cool. Doing my Claren P1. Um, meeting a, it's actually somebody new today. I've never met him before. His name's Camillo. Owner of 1K Motorsports in Naples, Florida. Um, like I said, you know, you got a brand new McLaren P1. Just got it lowered. Just put some wheels on it. Just put an exhaust on it. Pretty stoked. My first ever modified McLaren that I've shot. I've shot a McLaren P1 before. Um, shout out to Fred. His was a stock white one. Um, typically, people don't really modify McLaren P1s, but today we're doing this one. I'm pretty stoked. McLaren P1's my favorite hypercar. Um, along with the Lexus LFA. A little bit of an overrated answer, but again, I'm pretty stoked for it. We're down here in Miami today. Let me show you what's going on. Here in Miami, it's kind of overcast. I'm actually, I'm actually excited for it being overcast. It's Miami Heat Arena. I'm actually really excited that it's overcast because all black cars in this weather are actually, it's actually perfect. It's literally like a dream come true because shooting black cars with good sunlight, bad sunlight, no sunlight is ideal um, because black cars give off so many reflections and typically sometimes white cars can be kind of okay in shooting overcast but again you know he's down here visiting from Naples and he brought the McLaren P1 with him and I am so stoked to do this because again it's slammed, it's on wheels, it has a full exhaust system and I like to do what I like to do here in Miami and I'm just really stoked because an all black McLaren P1 in overcast weather it doesn't get any better than that we're gonna do rollers first um, typically I like to do rollers first if I'm shooting early in the morning it's usually the best traffic's usually at its lowest um, sun positioning is usually the best it's better for me to achieve a better warp effect on the rolling shots that I do always I hear him. I think that's them coming. So there's a lot of rentals here, and I bet you anything that sounds like a Huracan rental. No, that is him. Here he comes. Unreal. So like I said, I've never seen I've never seen a modified P1 before. Alright, let's get to it. Gotta grab this. iPhone. How to iPhoneography 101. Right there. Building. Separate. Let's go do some rolling shots. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I've never seen a modified P1 this this much. <laughs>
So, that was us doing rolling shots, got some footage too. Um, now we're going to the first spot. So we're gonna go to this rooftop spot that overlooks Miami. Um, water and the city in the background is pretty cool. So Camille's pretty cool. Um, he's a really awesome guy, Blake too. Blake was in the passenger seat, he's a photographer as well. So yeah, as you heard, full rift exhaust system, full rift wheels on there. I didn't even know rift made um, wheels. I guess I just found out today. Um, the rift exhaust system sounds great on the P1. Not often do you see people do exhaust on P1s. So, that was pretty cool. Yep, told you. It's ridiculous. Oh, I love this part. Actually, in the port of Miami right now, you got to be like really, you know, safe, cautious. You know, there's people coming off cruise ships, people going on cruise ships here. You know, it's a pretty fancy photo shoot spot. Um, during the pandemic, it was aw it was awesome coming here. Um, you know, everything was shut down. Nobody was going on cruise lines, so all the cruise ships were parked here, and you were able to come here on like a nine o'clock on a Tuesday, and it was just completely vacant, completely ghost town here. And the photos were pretty cool back then. But now everything's you know back to normal, picked up. It's actually busier than ever. So it's like coming to an airport on steroids. So roll up the window. Roll up the window. Comes Mr. Blake over here. What's good, y'all? It's Blake. Uh, I work with YK Motorsports, Camillo, obviously. Uh, my Instagram is BODD underscore. But yeah, we got the man out here, K Fletch. Dude, this spot is, yeah, this spot is freaking nuts, man. It's gorgeous. Always use a tripod. Always? Is that your tip for the day? That is my tip for the day. There's <laughs> so many photographers out there freehand. I I won't bash those that freehand. Yeah. I, free, I freehand when I need to, Yeah. but it has to be like a given circumstance when you can freehand a certain car, like dark gray cars, white cars, Sometimes black cars, not really, because there's a lot of reflections on them. Yeah. But there's some cars where you can freehand because of color. Yeah. But trust me, always <laughs> tripod. use a tripod <laughs> and always use a CPL filter. Yes. You will polarize your photos. If you don't know how to do it, I'll do an instruction video one day. But just look it up. It's not that hard. <laughs> okay. So as I was saying, typically when you Polarize your shots. Just want to do one. Get the top of the car here. I always use a timer because it is windy out. I don't want my shots to be any uh, more shaky than they probably already are. You can come over here, do that. And I'm going to wait for this one. I'm going to wait for the yacht to come over. And then I focus. And then by the time the yacht comes behind the car, there's the shot. So. So we're going to a rooftop spot now. That tugboat got in the way. Go up here, this is a pretty cool spot. I love shooting up here. This is a rooftop in the port of Miami. Now, as long as you stay quiet and respectful to the area, typically, you know, nobody really comes in here and, and gives us any crap and he doesn't nag us or anything. I love this spot because of the view. You're gonna see it right now. Look, I'm gonna pull right over here. Go back.
on the brake. Literally. <laughs> Do a timer on this. Alrighty, here we are. So, just got done. Um, shout out to Camilo and Blake over at 1K Motorsports in Naples, Florida. Um, as we were finishing up, Camilo told me that he just tuned that P1, making about like 1100 horsepower. So it's from factory is about 900 to 1000, I believe, because of the twin turbo V8 with a hybrid system. But he does, 1K Motorsports does a lot of cool stuff and they've been tuning McLarens for a very long time. And he just told me that, yeah, they, they tuned it and they, they didn't get the full numbers, but it's expecting to make probably about 100, about 100 horsepower pickup, which would leave it about, about 1100 horsepower. So we're all done packing up all my gear. Um, today I used my 24 to 105 and my 24 to 70. I didn't break out anything like my 50 mil or my wide or even my 7200. Um, this was kind of something you had to get get in and get out in Miami, especially on a Monday. Again, so throughout the channel, you'll see my versatile um, accessories and my arsenal of weaponry that I use for, you know, for my photography. But we're all done. Um, you know, again, shout out to Camilo over at 1K Motorsports. This was awesome, and I'm gonna go enjoy a nice coffee down here, one of my favorite coffee places here in Miami. Back to making videos. Um, I think my biggest challenge with getting back into videos now is to make sure it doesn't impact my my creative integrity with my photos or my my overall result and, and quality that I put into my photo work that I hope doing these videos and showing you guys what I do on a daily basis doesn't hinder that. So it's a good video to get started back into it and I'm looking forward to the next one. Later guys.